you doing? This is uh, Dejana Borgella. I am doing a video not only um, for the year, but ever. Like I, I don't ever post videos of me speaking. I do want to give you a few words today, a few words of encouragement. And I wish that I can get your undivided attention. If you're going to watch the video, get something out of it. I just want to touch a few things that I was given over the weekend. I went to a convention with um, the business that I'm currently in. Um, the CEO of the business, whose name is Christopher Terry. From my notes, you know, note takers are money makers. You always have to go everywhere with your notebook. He said, your net worth is only going to go where your mind is. Second. Start listening to the right stuff. Third, self-invest. Fourth, focus on those who want to be around you. Don't go around people who are not going anywhere. Don't do that. And last, if they don't want a dream, get rid of them. Stop keeping people around you that are stalling you. A lot of people are not where they want to be because of the people they are hang around with. It's that's a fact. That's a given. And we see it on a regular basis. So let's start doing different things so that we can get where we want to be. Guys, nothing changes if nothing changes. If you don't change the people around you that's holding you back, then you're not going to move. You're going to stay stable. I have five questions for you. I have five questions that I want you to answer as you're watching this video. Number one, what is your reason why? Like, what drives you to do the certain things that you do what makes you want to keep going what is your reason why who inspires you to keep trying to achieve you know to be a better person than you were yesterday what is your reason why think about that if you don't have a reason why i suggest you get one because you cannot make it anywhere in life without a reason why second where do you see yourself in five years? Now, a lot of people think five years is a long time. It's really not. Look how fast the decade just went by. We think about it like, you know what? Five years is a long time. Why do I want to think five years ahead? I can't tell the future. A lot of people say that. And I've spoken to people who have said, oh, why do I want to bother myself with thinking ahead when I could just go with the flow? Go with the flow means you're not going anywhere. You're literally just existing. We've seen over the years what happened to people that said they're going with the flow. So you want to have a plan. You want to have a master plan. Like me, I have a plan in five, for five years. In five years where I want to be. In 10 years where I want to be. 15 years where I want to be. It does not kill you to have a plan. Now what it does is it drives you. It pushes you to work towards that goal. We all know that one person who keeps saying, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that, and yet they are not working towards it. You know why? Because they don't have a plan. It's not written down, and so they don't commit to it. A lot of people lack commitment. We have to change. Something got to change. Now, third, who are you hanging out with on a regular basis? People don't understand the importance of being around the right people at the right, not even at the right time, just being around the right people, period. If you are hanging around bums on a regular basis, nine times out of ten, you're going to be a bum. If you hang around with people that do the wrong things, people that are not going anywhere in life, you're not going anywhere. I guarantee you that. But if you hang around with people that have the mindset that you want, people that want to go somewhere in life, I guarantee you that they're going to rub off on you sooner or later, whether you like it or not, because that's what you, you're around. What entertains you, trains you, if you spend time doing nothing, you're going to become nothing. If you spend time doing something, you're going to become something. That's plain and simple, guys. Understand it. It's not hard to take in. We all understand, you know, we hear it all the time, but why is it so hard to take in and, and actually go by it? Or what are you feeding your mind? Listen, the words we say become our truth. Words give life and words give death. Let me tell you, it's similar to the previous question, but it's really like different because now it's saying, what are you what are you feeding your mind what are what kind of words if you're if you're saying if you're saying i can't do this if you're saying the word can't does not exist in my vocabulary personally i don't even know like that word i just throw it outside i threw it in the garbage i stepped on it and i threw it out because once you accept something 
then it becomes you. If you accept that you can't do this, you can't do that, then you're not going to. Okay, a lot of people want to do a lot of things, but because they're feeding their mind. What are you reading? What are you what are you watching? What what shows are you watching? A lot of people just 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 feed their mind the wrong thing, the wrong advice. Why are you taking advice from somebody who doesn't have the life that you want? It's like, like being married, taking advice from somebody who's who's single, who don't even have a relationship. That's what it looks like when you're asking advice from somebody who's not where you want to be. How, how how would that work? You're not even you're not even living the life that I want. Why would I take advice from you? That that's what that is. Feeding your mind the wrong thing. What are you feeding your mind? You have to feed your mind the right things. How you feed your mind is with words, you know, with advice, with the books that you're reading, you know, with with the people that you're listening to. That's how you feed your mind. So feed your mind the right things so that you don't have regrets. Because whatever you accept, that's who you become. That's all I'm saying about that. For the last one, five. Figure out um, what is stopping you. What is stopping you from um, reaching to the next level in life? Is it your friends? Is it your parents? Guys, parents, everybody, you know, we all have parents. And they want us to be something, and we want to be something else. Listen, I I told my parents, I'm going to be what I want to be. And my parents accept that. You just have to let your parents know. I, I'm going to go for what I want because at the end of the day, I'm the one who's going to be living my life they're not going to be there with you holding your hand you're starting your life later to have a family and for it to continue generations after generations if we don't break that for for people to understand you don't have to do what your parents want you to do a lot of people who went and they did what their parents want them i'm speaking as far as career they end up later in life regretting or going back and doing what they wanted to do anyway so save yourself the trouble speak to your people and you know it, it i did it i did it with no disrespect i said my, I, my mom was speaking to me about becoming a nurse i told her that's not what i want to do and i'm not going to, to do that period and now she accepts whatever i tell her this is what i'm doing she supports me that's all you have to do with your parents now is it yourself 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 i'm gonna say it one more time yourself when you see others pro other people's progress making you know their way up to the top faster than you then you start doubting yourself like what, what am i doing wrong am i doing something wrong maybe, maybe this is not for me so then you give up don't listen to yourself you're not even where you want to be why would you listen to yourself again why are you listening to someone who's not where you want to be in life you're not where you want to be. So how does it look like taking advice from yourself when you don't even know what you're doing? So speak to the right people. Put yourself in the right position. If it's your friends, get rid of them. Get rid. It doesn't cost you a thing but a friendship. You know how people come and go. Most of the time our own friends don't even support us. Strangers support us more than, than, than our own friends. So it, when it comes to getting rid of somebody out of my life, I don't even think twice. I think about my future. I'm not going to sacrifice my future for friends. And it's not because I'm better than you. It's not because you're better than them. It's just simply because if someone is not in the same path as you, they're going to drag you backwards. And that's you sacrificing your future for a friendship. No. I've lost a lot of friendships. I've lost a lot of friends and I'm okay with that because I'm working towards my goals and that doesn't bother me honestly because I'm pretty sure they would sacrifice they, if it was them they sacrifice the friendship easily and that that's okay with me go for what you want if I'm holding you back leave me behind that's it that's what I see it as no no hard feelings do what is best for you do what's best for you I don't know anyone who's made it to the top without sacrificing even the celebrities, everybody, they've sacrificed something to be where they are. Whether it's time, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's money, whether it's their sleep, sleep, guys, really. Man, I'm telling you, it's very important to realize what's stopping you. I spent a little longer talking about this because that's really where it's at. What's stopping me from reaching a new level in life. I'm at a new level in life because I was able to notice what's stopping me. And I cut that right off. I chopped it. I took my, my machete and I chopped it off. And now I'm able to go to the next level. And I'm willing to do it over and over and over. And if it, if it needs for me to get to the top. 
okay? So um, three things for you guys. Be all in when you want to go somewhere. You need to be committed, you need to be persistent. Be active, be active, keep doing it, keep doing it because I can tell you it's worked for me. And if it worked for me, it could work for you. If it worked for someone else, it'll work for you. That's what I see. If someone can get where I wanna be in life, then I can do it, you know? Um, be grateful, just be grateful. Thank God every day, thank God for making, you know, giving you this life to live. You could have had, you could have been under a bridge, you could have been in the streets, you could have been anywhere in life, you could have been dead and gone, but you're still alive. So why are you not stepping into your purpose? That's how I see it as, you know, the longer you live, you should achieve more. You should, you know, strive more for the best in life because people have been dying young. People die young and if you're still alive, I don't see why not, you know? At the end of the day, it's it's for you and your family. And a lot of us have egos. You know, we have to put that away. Your ego is not going to get you anywhere, okay? So I had to learn to do that myself. I had to put my ego away. I had to say, you know what? Push that. Just know your ego is not going to get you where you want to be. So when you, if you have to sit on the floor because there are no more seats in a room, then sit on the floor, take notes. If you see a motivational speaker talking, take in what they have to say. Don't think, ah, I already know this. Oh, I heard that already. Your ego is going to eat you alive. Ego means you have to let your emotions go meaning emotions go your ego stop letting everything get to you the world doesn't revolve around only you there is seven point some billion people in the world and you letting everything get to you is going to stop you from where you want to be everybody wants to elevate but they want to take the elevator listen if you want to get where you want to be in life shortcuts are not it it is not gonna happen and shortcuts don't work long term greatness never goes on sale you have to pay the full price for it you have to pay the full price full price meaning you have to go all in be before you can get where you want to be you don't just wake up rich you don't just wake up wake up wealthy it does not work like that i don't know some people think it does because a lot of people are looking for the shortcut in life and and they wonder why they wonder why nothing's working i don't get it it's not working because you're looking for the shorter route and there's no shorter route to success. You have to go the way everybody went through by sacrificing, by putting time, by putting the effort, outreach, by sleepless nights, by you know going places people don't wanna go, doing things people don't wanna do, making a difference. You have to do that in order for you to get, there is no shorter route. I'm sorry to tell you, there is no shorter route. I didn't come from money, but money's going to come from me. I want you to understand that. I was deep. So I just want to tell you to stop being the person being told and start being the person telling. Stop being the person being taught and start teaching. I just want to say thank you if you are still listening thus far. I appreciate you um, watching this video. There's big things coming, guys, and I plan on doing this on a regular basis. I am so happy that I was able to do this. Like, I really didn't want to, <laughs> but I realized in order for me to get to a new level in life I have to do different things and that's what I'm doing and I'm so thankful that God gave me a new breast today and I'm well, all praise to the most high I put God in everything that I do and I'm I'm just so open to, to everything all the possibilities that God has for me I am going to work for it I am going to do everything that I need to do in order to get where I want to be and that's that on that okay guys so I am thankful for you and everybody else um that you're going to send my way you know um thank you thank you for watching thank you for supporting me for following me thank you for just being you keep being you don't change okay